Injuries are an inevitable part of training. Unfortunately, at certain times, you may start to get a little bit of a niggling pain that turns it a little bit more. Let's, let's, call, let's call it what it is, an injury. You might have picked something up and strained your shoulder, or you've been running really fast, and then bang, there goes your hamstring. It feels very tight because you've just pulled it a bit too hard. At certain times, you kind of go, I don't want to move. I don't want to be running around and exercising and doing something that's going to cause more pain. So I'm going to rest. This line of thought isn't so bad. The only problem is, is when you're resting completely and not doing anything about it, is that those muscle fibers in that injured part are starting to mesh up differently. So when you go to move again, it's going to hurt anyways because it hasn't been reworked to be move, uh, moving nice and smooth. And that's the whole purpose of seeking another health professional to help you make that injury, that little mesh, incorrectly meshed area, nice and smooth so there's not as much resistance or pain when you go to start moving again. And that could be simply getting up off the couch or lifting something. It's not even any exercise program at all. There's an array of health professionals out there who can help. What do they do? Who are they? Where can I find them? Let's start with just listing some of them and a bit of a description of who they are. So one of the first ones is, is a physiotherapist. What a physiotherapist does is they work more with your body and your muscular structure. So manipulation, strengthening exercise, stretching exercises. A chiropractor is a similar field, but they work more on the framework and our bone structure, manipulating how our body moves to help release, our, um, release the tension in our body. An osteopath, very similar, but more specific in, in a certain role. But you might step away from that physical role and maybe go to more, let's say, more of a mental and a, and a headspace, going to see a psychologist or a counselor. Why? Because they're going to help you work the relationship that you've got with movement and exercise. You might be a bit cautious about using that shoulder because it's just hurting every time you, you lift something up. Or you go to run and you're like, oh no, it's hurting again, my hamstring. They'll start working with how you see and perceive exercise and movement. Going down a simple line of a doctor is a great starting point, but they're generally general. They're a GP for a reason. They're going to refer out to certain areas, and if you need the, the ultrasound scans and the MRI scans, they're the place to go to to start off with. Going a little bit deeper, you might go more for more feet because we stand on our feet a lot. A podiatrist will help with that one. They work with our, our, and our lower limb structure, working up towards our, our, our middle of our body. Um, there are other ones like your massage therapist as well. Um, and your Bowen therapist, they're all on the same lines of manipulation and helping recover our body in a relaxed state. With each of these um, health professionals, they use different treatments. Some use the same sort of treatments, and a couple of these treatments are your ultrasound, where they, they shoot some little ultrasound waves to help break up that, that mesh and loosen it up a little bit. That's from my understanding. They use um, acupuncture, needles, so more of the Eastern medicine that helps release in certain parts of the body. Straight manipulation, so moving our body in certain parts to release the muscles and loosen it up. And that goes hand in hand with the massage and the Bowen therapy that does the same, same similar roles. They might use electric therapy, electric shock therapy, just sending a little pulses to again, loosen up those muscle fibers to relax a bit more. Laser therapy, I believe, is very similar. If you go down the lines of hydrotherapy, it's just taking the body weight, the impact, and doing the same sort of movements that you would with an with a occupational therapist or a physiotherapist. The other ones are obviously like we talk about more of our, our internal. So we're talking about how emotional and our, and our mental space. So counseling using meditation and using journaling in other ways can help in, in your relation with exercise and movement. Whichever pathway you take with the health professional that you've chosen, keep in mind that at the end of the day, their specific role is to help educate and show their expertise to help you through that recovery process. Once you've started that process, any good health professional should be starting to give you some stretching and some strengthening exercises to help you manage yourself. Because at the end of the day, they might be able to do one small treatment but it's the maintenance, maintenance work later on that makes a difference to how you move, whether it's just in life or in exercise. 